Hey, so when I was 21 years old, I was uh, diagnosed with major depression. And I was on some SSRIs for a while. But they made my sex drive off and my mood was all stabilized and I was productive, I was part of society, but I miss feeling my ups and downs. And I think people would mistake just normal ups and downs for being bipolar. And I'm not saying I'm bipolar, but I lived in Bali for like 10 years and you could say the nature is bipolar. Like they're the extremes of nature, you know, the waves from really big to really small. Um, so what I'm saying is nature has its ups and downs. And I think the swinging of the moods, it's like the waves happening inside you. Like that's kind of the enlightened way to look at it or to experience life where you are the, the formless being, the source, the, the God, whatever that's constant or the Shiva, I don't know. And then the Shakti is dancing within whatever you want to call it, the dynamic, the potential kinetic versus potential sympathetic versus uh, parasympathetic nervous system. But I think when I was depressed, it was because I was too much identified with my mind and productivity and being part of the system. And, you know, I was a good student. I was a people pleaser. I got straight A's kind of kid. Um, later in life, I rebelled. And I think that's part of my Tao Yoka vibe. It's a kind of character that's constantly into exploring ways to self-sabotage. We call it eco death. Even I'm fascinated with near-death experiences and derealization or depersonalization, where you just kind of, you know, tune out. Is it tune out and tune in, as Osho says? Whatever you want to call it, it's not that complicated. But the mind, when it's in control, it takes over. And sometimes it's as simple as just, you know, taking a, a walk, putting your feet on the earth, taking a deep breath. I mean, it's obvious, right? Uh, but I think the way that culture and society is uh, designed, it's not to really encourage you to be um, just accepting of who you are. It's more like you have to constantly be trying to be better. And I think that can be good to a certain extent. And most SSRIs and therapies are trying to help you fit into society and be more productive. Which makes sense because it's society that's created it. And now I'm integrating. I'm, I'm not so into being useless simply because there's a survival instinct that kicks in. And it's important to to want to survive, to, to grow. I think that's also a part of life, just to want to grow and flower, you know grow roots and enjoy it I'm thinking of what pure enlightenment means right now and I'm thinking of those monks who they put very little attention to the earthly things which means like survival even because they're they're taken care of they're they're focusing on just being pure beingness formless and the more you keep your attention there the more you know, you could be, it doesn't mean you know anything. It doesn't mean you have any special powers. And this is what spiritual capitalism messes things up. It makes you think that becoming more yogi, becoming more uh, biohacking helps you and meditating is gonna, like meditation is supposed to help you be more effective. But it's like serving your ego when you think that way. So your spiritual ego grows through your meditation practice. But there's nothing wrong with meditation. I just think people need to chill out. That's it. And I say that because I'm, I'm a crazy, super productive, wired person. My parents are type A PhDs. I grew up in America. I'm the only child. Like, there's a lot of entitlement and arrogance built into who I am. And that's why I have so many issues I've had foot problems, you 
know, you, you gotta, you gotta walk before you can run. But uh, I think the message is slow down. And it's not a bad thing. It's not like, like how can you make slow down be interesting? It's, it's healing. You feel more alive, not just like in some race where you're racing for the weekend and you gotta. Like that's that's what it's. But no one's really gonna listen to this because it doesn't enhance their ego. So I shared anyways because I think some people might uh, enjoy the message. Peace.